Hi everyone, so welcome back to the garage, Jeeping Mo, and we're going to do a little bit live today. Never done a live one like this before, so if it's horrible, bear with me. Always appreciate some comments on how to make this a little bit better. So we've got a little bit upgrade we'd had done to our bun toil, our bun trail welder. Can't edit that out live. So let me show you what we. So I'll show you what we did, and we'll do a little test weld with it, and then we'll go from there. All right. So what we did is uh, Bun actually came out with an upgraded version so we sent ours out and had it modified so now you can actually change your feed on your wire speed and if, and if, if anybody has never used one of these this is a trail welder that uses two 12 volt batteries and a flux core wire Right, it's a pretty handy little spool that it's really just point and shoot. All right, so we're going to hook it up for you and show you how this thing works. So if you ever, so if you want one of these, best place to go is. Bun Trail Welder, and uh, Sue can set you up with one of these. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty easy thing. So when you get it, she just totally revamped ours. You know, it'll come with a, a one-pound spool of 35 thou flux core wire, some extra tips. You always need stickers and, and cards and instructions. So, let me show you how this thing hooks up. This would be nice to have a camera person. Alright, so we're just going to start with our two 12 volt batteries. And it really is a, a pretty easy setup. So, all of the ends are color coded. So, you'll have red positive black negative and then you just hook them up accordingly red to positive nice easy cam lock black to negative now uh, your ground line is goes on your positive so we're gonna do a test a little test for you and then I'm gonna show you some other little things you really should be taking with you when you use one of these. All right now, as far as your gun goes, it needs 12 volts to operate. The way we're hooking this up, it'll be a 24 volt welding setup. But when we hook this up, Black could be negative, but the minute you clip this on, it's live. Okay. So we're going to gear up. All right, so we're going to gear up here real quick. Now, I know that we're not in the field, so flux core, there's a lot more spatter. So always be somewhat prepared even if you're out in the field if you're laying underneath your rig and you're having to weld well you want to be covered up at least now typically inside I'll wear a respirator obviously in the field you're probably not going to be But I do pack a pair of readers because, well, there's nothing wrong with being able to see 
And something I would suggest is some kind of either do rag, some kind of FR cover, because when you're up under and, and you're being showered, well, as I get older, hair is more important. You will need a helmet out. All right, so we're going to hook this thing up and then uh, we're going to do a little test weld. So what we have here is I've just I just have a, a piece, of, let's think of it as a bracket and a test strip. We'll do a little lap joint here. Now this thing does weld hot. Right? It even tells you that on their box that it welds hot. And even when I'm out, the little kit that I put together that I'll show you when I'm done here, I include a few clamps and stuff because you're going to need this kind of stuff when you get out there. Alright, so I'm going to put the terminal on. So right now the spool gun is, is active. Make sure we can see everything. So with this, you have to kind of, you can't dwell in one spot too long. So the one nice thing about this gun is you can change your speed from nothing So you can adjust your feed rate, which is a something very nice for this. Now make sure that when you're doing this, you're not letting this hit because anything over there is it's hot right now. So I usually try to keep about a half to three eighths of an inch of length here. All right, so let's see how this works. So as we're going, I'll probably have to, if I have to adjust my feed rate while I pull the trigger, we'll be doing both at one time. I don't know how bright this is going to be on there, so we'll both see. So it's just that easy. So as I was pulling the trigger, I just had my, I call it trigger finger, on the potentiometer. So as it was going, I would be able to give it more or give it less. So the nice thing about this little gun is you don't have to know how to stick weld. So several of them, like the Premier Power Welder and all of those, you have to know how to stick weld. Now I carry one battery with me and if I have to repair I'll either pull mine out or if somebody needs fixed we'll pull theirs out so let's see how this looked so I'm gonna unclip this thing All right, let's, let's see how this came out now always remember for obvious reasons this is gonna be hot So a couple things you should take. You definitely want to take a, a wire brush. Okay. Now I suggest a if you got a chip and hammer brush combo. With the flux core, you're going to have that slag on the outside of it. And remember, remember the old saying that if there's slag, you drag. 
So basically, as I was in here, I was just making a small circle to the bottom and the top and dragging it. I didn't push, I dragged. Now in the field, well, you kind of got to just do whatever you got to do there. I think it, for what it is, you know, I'm more than happy to say that that would hold in the field. And there's an old saying that if you can't weld, if you can't weld well, weld a lot. So if you have to put a couple passes on here, now the thinner this is, the faster you're going to have to move so you don't blow through it. But, you know, Sue and her team did a great job by putting that adjuster on it. So once again, that's the Bun Trail Welder. Now let me show you a couple things that on the kit that I put together for this. Okay, so a couple things you should always get, right? Either a, like a do-rag like this. You can go to Lowe's or something like that and get, you know, their FR. You can get it, regular welding hats, but you really should have something like this. Obviously, welding helmet. Now, one I think I'm going to order is Yes Welder makes one that it's kind of a, it almost looks like a paintball rig that I think would be pretty cool. All right, so let me show you this little kit I made. So basically I got everything together in this kit. Again, bear with on this. this is a kind of our maiden voyage on the live. Okay, so a couple things you need out when you're. So I, I have a cordless grinder set up. Obviously, you're going to have to be able to treat whatever. You got to grind off paint and goo. And I got a flap disc. I got a hard rock wheel. All right, bolts from Rock Mount, one of our sponsors. I have an old welding jacket. And then something that I think is very crucial scrap metal. Some pieces of bar, some pieces of plate, All right? So there's quite a bit of that in this bag. A wire brush. And then typically what I'll do is I'll throw in some of the clamps that I have on the table just so I can put things back together. And then you're kind of set. Definitely be easier with multiple cameras. Okay, here we go. So one thing I would definitely suggest if you're, especially if you can't weld, there's plenty of people out on the trail that can weld. So if you have a welder, you know, if you go out to Bun Trail Welders website, three, four hundred dollars, which is kind of nice. Unlike some of the other ones, you don't have to put another alternator in your in your rig or replace your alternator or know how to stick well. This really is just point and shoot. And that one pound of 
flux core, it's a lot of welding. And those two batteries, I've done a lot of welding with those two. I recharge them and just keep going. So if you're out in the field and you rip off a track bar bracket or a you know control arm or anything else like that, grind it, get get it prepped up, get your safety gear on, and get to sticking it together. Now if you have to run multiple passes, run your first pass, get all that slag off of it, then lay down your second one. Don't run it over the top of that slag. All right, so what'd you think? So this is our first live, and eventually what I would like to do is do some fabrication and have uh, you guys, you know, along with this, and kind of do it as a, a super chat type thing, so you guys can chat as I'm doing this. Let me know what you think. So for this round, this is a GP Mo upgraded Bun Trail welder. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in our next video. If you like the lives, let me know. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you in the next video.